forecast for, for the foreseeable future? No, uh, the mountains, they do have an opportunity here. I think we're really going to remain dry. It looks for quite a few days. So, okay. uh, but nobody's complaining about these temperatures and it's not only us. Take a look across the entire Southwest. We have a lot of happy campers, 75 uh, the high so far in Phoenix, 74 in El Paso, and you go farther west, uh, you see even San Diego and Los Angeles there in the mid 60s. So some really nice temperatures. Tomorrow gonna be another nice day, but we are tracking a few changes. Here's your satellite radar composite. And you see these two systems out in the Pacific that are gonna sort of of join forces in the next couple of days and bring some changes in the form of wind. As we speak, we have a little bit of cloud cover mainly in our higher elevations. We've seen on and off cloud cover throughout the day, and it's really not going to thicken a whole lot uh, until we head into tomorrow. Here's the morning, 8 a.m. on your Sunday. Once we head to lunchtime, notice we do start to see it thicken, and particularly as we head into the afternoon and evening hours, we are expecting mostly cloudy to cloudy skies, but you see nothing to track as far as any showers are concerned so far. But then we go overnight Sunday into Monday. This is early at 3 a.m. and you see the higher elevations lighting up not only uh, the Spring Mountains but also the Sheep Range. I think at this time here in the Valley we could catch a stray sprinkle but I don't think these showers are really going to be making it down into the Las Vegas Valley and even if they do most of us will be asleep uh, and at 7 a.m. looks pretty quiet for most of the area. I think as we roll into the afternoon hour we still may see some activity in our higher elevations and that will extend even into your Tuesday. Now for us, what we'll be dealing with is wind that does include the higher elevations and they'll have even stronger gusts. But here in the Las Vegas Valley, particularly if you're in southern portions of the valley, gusts to about 40 miles per hour. I think they're going to peak right around the lunch hour, maybe noon or 1 p.m. And then on Tuesday, we're still going to be in the breezy category, 30 mile per hour gusts. And then by the time we head into Wednesday, we will will be calmer and that system will have moved out of the way. So high wind warning is in effect. This uh, is for the higher elevations for the Spring Mountain Range to be exact. Look at these gusts between 60 and 70 miles per hour. That will go into effect tomorrow at 1 o'clock and last all throughout the day uh, on Monday and into the early morning hours of your Tuesday. 67 degrees at McCarran, 65 Green Valley and Henderson, Enterprise 65 degrees. So of course, before the wind rolls in, we still have some really nice temperatures to enjoy. Uh, for tonight, it will get chilly, still running above average for this time of year, of course, on the low and on the high end of the spectrum. Notice all these 60s. We will have a lot more cloud cover, so it's not going to feel quite as warm by tomorrow afternoon, but still it will be quite mild, uh, 64 for the high uh, there in Anthem. And take a look, whatever you're doing tomorrow you're planning to do maybe some grilling outdoors it is going to be a really nice day uh, by the four o'clock hour keep in mind that we are going to have that cloud cover so on your 13 first alert seven day planner uh, temperatures staying really consistent and once we get rid of the wind and that system moves out we continue to warm up take a look at those numbers by Thursday Friday we have 70s on there folks